tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. For all your NRG innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D-R-I-V-E-N-R-G.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7, staring down a old livery from Horizon 3 on that Nissan S15 Horizon Edition. One of the old liveries from Horizon 3 when the Horizon Edition first came out, if you guys remember that episode. Let me know down in the comment section down below. We did, I believe, a game of drift with these cars, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Everybody was rocking the same paint with just different colors in the middle. So we're here today to get this car into an online session. It is rocking the new angle kit as well. And we're going to see how the online sessions go and how the online sessions plays out. Um, I haven't really drifted this car. I just kind of threw the angle kit on there and leaving it stock. And we're just going to run it how it goes. I believe this car has 666 horsepower, I believe. So uh, we are going to head to an online session and uh, get sideways with this car and see how it does in a pack not uh, anticipating way too much on it because of the not sure how the new drift scoring goes in an online session so this is going to be completely new for me let's see if we can find i should go into a go session but i'm not going to i'm gonna go to the gusto and put ourselves in there so hopefully we find a lobby that's almost over and that's got six minutes left so we're going to try finding another session. I will come back with you guys as soon as I get a session that's either close to being done or done or we're on grid. So I will catch you guys once we get on grid with a good track or just track. So I have noticed they have changed the spectator uh, set a lot. And uh, it's quite interesting actually. You can turn off like the map and the driver stuff as well as uh, loop data so they have changed the HUD for you to watch in spectating on these drift sessions we are uh, seeing what people are rocking and we got the points up top so live data going on now looks like we got somebody running uh, some very high angles here with these new drift kits here on this online session these guys are getting it I don't know how they're not seeing it here almost sounds like a four rotor I'm not sure. It looks like it's in that that 240. Is rocking a four rotor? Uh, let's find out. I think he's in fourth. So yeah, sounds like he's rocking a four rotor. So the hoods are definitely uh, definitely pretty cool now that they have like focusing on the map and positions like those, and you can do you know player information and you can see his dash which is actually really sweet you can see his steering his throttle his G inputs so that's uh pretty sweet you can see his full telemetry and everything now so that race is over so we are going to go back into the race I'm not gonna vote to select the track so I don't trick out my wheel settings but it looks like we got some Volvos some Corvettes some Vipers, BMWs, a lot of Sylvias, Infinity, Challenger, a lot of Sylvias. So we are rocking our Sylvia today. So definitely going to be a uh, an interesting match depending on where we are going to. And I gotta make a lobby. So that I don't have everybody else's uh, chit chat in my ear. So we are going to go to Burmese Alps Club Circuit. So this should be a very high speed section with this car. So it's definitely going to be uh, a learning curve trying to do high speed drifting with the angle kits. It could be easier. It could be harder. I don't know. I haven't actually uh, gotten too much into the angle kits. I've been uh, on the Torch Drift Beta, which more Torch Drift Beta content will be coming for you guys here very very soon and you know continuously um big thank you to the game devs for letting me uh bring the content to you guys on that we are here to uh get our wheels set up going where intermission counter is pretty low 
we are going to be going into uh, the countdown counter, which shouldn't be too high. So we are running our S15 FE edition. And uh, we got about 13 seconds left. So we're going to get the wheel cam turned on because we are rocking the Logitech G920 Energy Innovations wheel, Energy Handbrake, Sequential Shifter, and our Energy Innovations bucket seats with the TE logo on the back. So hopefully we can get a good run here. Hopefully we don't get messed up in the uh, Forza you know, online hopper cluster of the first turns. Don't really remember what this car has for motor or power. I think it might be the stock RB with some other stuff, or it could be a 2J. I think it's a stock motor just fully built, and we are in a good spot right now. So hopefully we can stay here. Throw it in as much as we can. Throw it in the fourth. This car seems like it has way more angle because it was an FE edition. So I feel like it had more angle to start. And uh, now it's just, I keep forgetting we can get points on straights. And welcome to Forza Online Hoppers. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Well, we were first until that happened. So. Now we gotta try and uh, get ourselves back up in there. But, remember we can now get points everywhere. And not just on the turns, until we lose them all hitting the wall. So yeah, I think this car, ooh, everybody's, uh, everybody's falling into the wall. I feel like this car has way more angle than a lot of the other cars because it was an FE edition and now it's got an angle kit on it. That's one thing that they, you can't get. You can get points everywhere on the track, but not when you're off the track in the little yellow lines, which is a little annoying because we could run these turns so much wider. But I guess they want you to stay on track. Little clutch kick. Trying to not get involved with these cars as much as we can. Here we go. I don't want to get too greedy. I kind of want to bank some points in there before somebody does that. Oh, just missed him. Just a little wall tap scrape. We got some uh, hop on our rear tires. Apparently our suspension is probably way too soft right now or our tire pressures are soft. One of the two, I haven't really messed with this tune. I just threw the angle kit on there, but uh, it seems to be holding its own. So we should be able to manji here and get points. Why can't we hold that up there? Ah, Forza. Forza, I love you for the angle kits and I love you for the ability to get points all over the track, but why couldn't we get points up in that double yellow section like there too? Trying to throw this as much as we can. So there is ability to get so many more points now in these online sessions. That's probably why first place is so high. But we still can't get that though. We still cannot get high angle. We almost took that guy out. That would have been bad. We just dropped a lot of points there for losing all those points. Go hard on brakes. That's the line I wanted to take. I should have linked that. I keep forgetting. See, I'm not. I'm so used to only getting points in certain sections that I keep forgetting that I can link track parts to get more points. I didn't want to hit that guy. So, online sessions are a lot more interesting now with these angle kits as well as the points totals through the entire sections. Definitely make for some very high scoring runs. But we can't go 90 even though this car could have definitely held that we cannot go 90 still. 
So unless there's a certain way, I just stalled the car. Unless there's a certain way that I'm not doing it to keep those points. But uh, if there is a certain way to keep the points, let me know down in the comment section down below. But maxing out angle in this FE car. Somebody behind me? No. I think he might have just tanked it. Manji the straight. Enter into the turn. We should be able to get points up here. Thank you, Forza. So we are very low in the points, but I figured that would happen because I'm still trying to get used to how the point scoring works and what tracks I can really Manji and hold angle with and not go out of the yellow here at Burmese Alps because you lose all your points. So do you guys enjoy the new drifting scoring? Do you guys enjoy the new drift score point system? Do you like the ability to get points throughout the whole track? Do you not like it because people are just dominating in the points totals? Or do you like it because maybe you're really good at manjing and you uh, are glad that you can get points anywhere throughout this circuit? So I am uh, doing pretty, uh, pretty bad when it comes to the points aspects here but there's a lot of times where I would have had a lot of points but I just go right outside the yellow and I lose it and I don't think this car is fully uh, built to where it needs to be the gearing is a little bit off for this track I believe this car was built for a shorter section of a track but that is very sweet to be able to get points like this. A little e brake and a clutch kick to uh, throw ourselves back higher up. And uh, hold 24 large. We're going to bank those before we uh, lose them. go it's a little bit better a little clutch kick loss of angle for sure so I think oh really see right there that was a loss of 11,000 points which would have been would have, which would have come in clutch to get us back up in maybe top 10 but unfortunately we just went right outside the yellow which made us lose it a little clutch kick, a little uh, left foot break. That's going to be brave. We're going to be way outside the yellow. It looks like we're bottoming out the car, too. This car might be a little bit too low for the uh, elevation changes here at Burmese Alps. So, like I said, do you guys like the new drift update? Do you guys not like it? Do you guys find yourselves lower in the brackets than you used to be when it comes to online sessions? Do you find yourselves higher in the brackets? Which way do you go in this? Let me know down in the comment section down below. I do want to do some online sessions here, public hoppers with this new update, as well as getting back to public hoppers in Forza Horizon 3 with the new Forza 4 coming out. So a little short episode here today for you guys because I am in Chicago, so I'm doing tried to get as many videos as i could out there for you guys so there's still daily uploads while i'm in chicago for training so until next time guys you know you can follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram all found in the description box below that rabbit is just scratching everywhere so until next time guys i thank you guys for watching i'm evil rabbit i'm out